Okay, so this is the next example in our related rates problems. And in this case, we have an observer, and the observer is standing 200 meters uh, from the launch site of a balloon. So the balloon starts to rise, and it's rising vertically, and the rate of a rise is 4 meters per second. And you can assume that that is constant. How fast is the angle of elevation of the balloon increasing 30 seconds after launch? So um, just one note right away for uh, units, we're probably going to want to keep uh, meters and seconds, right? All right. And so um, how should we start this one? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to draw a picture uh, to try to explain what's happening. So go ahead and pause the video for a second and see if you can draw a sketch of what's happening. Then come back and we'll compare. Okay, so I'll draw my observer down here and my balloon is over here. It's rising up in the air. So this is going to be uh, it's rising vertically right in the air and so we're getting a right triangle that's 200 meters right and then the angle of elevation is going to be the angle the observer sees right this this angle right here is going to be your angle theta good and now we also know uh, how fast the balloon is rising so let's go ahead and label this as h in fact this is going to be h of t right because the height is changing in time. But this, notice we're not labeling this as a uh, function of time because it is a constant 200. Good. So I think now we can uh, take a look at some uh, observations. And so what do we want to find in this situation? In this situation, we want to find uh, d theta over dt, right? The rate of change of the angle. Um, at t equals 30 seconds. All right. So, um, hmm. what does that mean here? I'm going to need to get um, theta as a function. I'm going to need a, a function that relates theta and h. Can I find a function that does that? Well, I'll notice that this is opposite and this is adjacent. So, therefore, this is kind of set up for us right, as a tangent problem. So let's go ahead and write that relationship. So the tangent of theta, and you can think of theta as a function of t, right, is going to be h of t divided by 200. Good. All right. And so uh, at this point, now we're ready, uh, right, because we can go ahead and differentiate everything in time and see what we get. So derivative of tangent, remember now this is going to be a, a composition. So that's going to be secant squared of theta of t times d theta over dt equals, and then that's just going to be dh over dt, right, times the 1 over 200 just as constant. So we could, maybe I should leave some space there. 1 over 200 times dh over dt. Good. All right. So do I know everything that I need in order to find... Uh, d theta over dt. Um, hmm. I don't think so. What do we need? Let's see. At 30 seconds, the balloon is rising at a rate of 4 meters per second, right? So we know that dh over dt is constant at 4. Uh, do I need anything else? I need to figure out what secant of theta is. Can I figure out what secant of theta is at time 30? Well, um, I'm going to need to find h of t, right, at 30. So let's go ahead and side, make a side computation. Since uh, dh over dt is constant, then in 30 seconds, right, h of t will be 30 times 4, right? 
and so that's going to be 120 and so therefore at time 30 oops at time 30 we'll have tangent of theta is equal to 120 over 200 good all right uh, of course I don't want the tangent of theta I want the cosine of theta and so I guess I could just go ahead and uh, figure out what the cosine is um, gosh why don't we go ahead and do that because I need secant squared right and cosine of theta is going to be 200 divided by the hypotenuse 200 divided by the square root of 120 squared plus 200 squared right and so if you compute that you get approximately 0 0.86 okay and so now remember that secant is 1 over that and so we have 1 over 0 0.86 squared times d theta over dt is equal to 1 over 200 times dh over dt which is 4. Good. So I'm just rewriting everything I know in this equation with numerical values so that's all what's happening at t equals 30. Good. And so if we compute d theta over dt what do we get? Uh, looks like uh, well well we could simplify well let me not simplify it yet so you can see where the, num where the numbers are coming from. So it's going to be 4 times 0 0.86 squared divided by 200. Okay, and that's going to be approximately 0 0.015 if you compute it on your calculator. Now the question might be, what are the units of this expression? Well, remember that theta is being measured in radians, and so this is going to be radians per second. Okay, good. All right. So that's another example of related rates. So in the next video, we'll try another one.